Let me ask you a question, Horwat. Mm-hmm. When was Kasperi Kapan at his best last year? Whenever he scored the hat trick. Before that. He was Whoa. at his best during training camp. Uh, yeah, you're right. If you remember, through all of those training camps and, and all of those preseason games, everybody is saying, wow, Kasperi Kapanen is about to go off for this team. With all these injuries, Kapanen is going to lead this team while Malkin and Crosby are out. Well, that didn't happen. No. But the fact still remains that he was great at training camp last year. And then it went downhill. And a big issue was chemistry and confidence. He couldn't get any chemistry with the centers he was playing with. And he said it several times last year. I don't have my confidence. He didn't have that swagger that Kasperi Kapanen usually shows off whenever he's playing the best of his abilities. But this year, it's a pretty good confidence boost whenever you have the worst year of your career and your organization says, we're going to pay you the same amount as you did last year. We're still paying you $3.2 million. We still believe that you're not the player you were last year, but the player you were your first year back in Pittsburgh. That's Mm -hmm. a confidence boost right there. Take that, a mental reset over the summer. I think we're, at the very least, I think Kasperi Kapanen has a bounce back year as a whole. But to just kind of dilute it and look at it in a micro sense, I think he's going to have a very impressive training camp because I think he comes in with the most to prove out of all these guys. Zucker has a lot to prove, but I I think Kasperi Kapanen, for how young he is, for how much of a high-flying, high-scoring guy he is, I think he has the most to prove coming into this training camp. So I think that translates, in my opinion, to him having the most impressive training camp. He has the track record of doing it last year. He's had a mental reset over the summer. And he was also given a nice little boost of confidence from the front office being paid the same amount that he was paid last season. Even though last year was probably the most disappointing season of any Pittsburgh Penguin. 